What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Dravid, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Ryan, the Dragon-type Gym Leader, and now it is finally time for us to take on Leon to, yeah, prove who is the greatest once and for all. And, well, oh man, I got, I got a team here. I gotta tell you this, like, I got a team. I think I made a, I made the, the best choice for for me to actually switch out, uh, what was it, Corbin Knight for Toga, uh, Kiss right here, because Toga Kiss has been very, very imperative for, like, our battles right here, so, alrighty, let's do this, let's get it, let's go ahead and take on the champion, see what he's all about, he's got a Charizard, I don't think he can beat us, alrighty, let's do this, come out to John Cena's music, right, nope, oh wow, he's waiting for us, Eyes closed and everything, and he's happy to see us. Hmm. <laughs> the tents still air on the pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than just to see us uh, lose after all. I can fill you with uh, fear knowing that. But I absolutely love pushing past fear. I love giving it everything, and I've got as a, I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partner's itching for an anticipation, but anticipation. Inti well, I can't even speak. God dang it! With anticipation, there you go. You see, I read inside their Pokemon battles or Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gala Regents champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use our knowledge to and experience to crush you completely. Whatever you say, homeboy. Alrighty, here we go. Let's get it. Time to show you who is daddy and well, hold on. Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What is, what is that on the big screen? Hmm. Hello there, Leon and Draven. Just letting you know. What is going on? I think it's uh, about time we brought about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. But I'm a bit of a pickle. The energies released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, uh... I'm sorry it's, it's come to this, but you know, you're, you're the one who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Hey, I was supposed to have a championship battle in... Oh, crap, baskets. We're gonna save the world, right? Lee! Driven! Oh, God. The video stream. That was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did he... Did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did uh, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized that the chairman indeed intended to do this uh, to do before it, it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. Okay. All right. Why do I? Hey, why does everything have to be champion time? Oh crap. Do I have to go with Hop? Oh crap. Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? Hmm. I want to help my brother, Draven. I've had, I got to. But I can't even manage to be you, so what sort of help could I ever be? Oh, now you're, now you're realizing it. Good way to stay in your lane. Holy crud. Uh, you could help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing, that's the thing where the sky went all dark at once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing that about, or, and where did he even hear that name? Back in Motostoke. That statue of the hero in Motostoke? Sonya said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring, to bring an end to the uh, darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping uh, sleeping somewhere, though, right? 
we should try and find them, Draven. But where do, but where do we start looking? Um, I don't know. Probably the, the slumbering wheel because, you know, that's probably where we found them. That's it, Draven. I'm sure it's got some, It's got to be in the slumbering wheel. That illusion you tried to fight off that day? It must have been one of those Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering wheel. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Oh, wow. Alrighty, so, yeah. The championship battle? No? No, it is not a championship battle. No, we're going to be uh, doing some legendary stuff. And, oh, well, hello there. Huh? Draven? Hop? Ah, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Hey, it's my mama. I haven't seen her in quite some time. Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw that, uh, saw to that, and sending the entire region to a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wield? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry uh, too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Maybe. Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Gala region to ruin in ancient times. So, what are you, what are you here for, Draven? Uh, search for the sword Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. They may be just what we need to get to beat back the black storm. Okay, here, take this. You should uh, you should head into the slumbering wheel. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into the, something that's been bothering me. And oh wow, three max revives. You see, get yourself a girl that you know supports you in that stuff. Okay. All that matters is that you can do. Or wait, wait, wait. All that matters is that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. Hmm. Thank you, mom. Well, here we are, guys, in the slumbering wield, and he's like, ready for this, Draven? I wonder if we're about to head straight into the wall of fog again. Not that it bothers us uh, now. We've grown a little stronger so that we have our Pokemon. Going into the forest uh, after Wooloo that day, that was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head into and add a, or let's head in and add another page to our tale. Well, another page to my tale. To the slumbering uh, wield. Okay, I'm just typing this down right here. Just so I remember. Okay, so here we are in the slumbering wield and yeah, we're going to be encountering just a little bit more. Look at that. They just popped up out of nowhere. Okay, seriously. What is that? Oh, I know what it is. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, we need to get the heck out of here, and uh, yeah, there's going to be fog everywhere. Now, if you guys remember, in episode 1, we've encountered one of the legendary Pokemon of, uh, of Galar right here, and before we, we continue any further, now, I forgot to mention this a few episodes ago, but yes, I did go into the Pokebox, and I, I did add quite a few Pokemon onto the boxes. As you guys can see, we got a boatload of Pokemon onto our uh, onto our collection right here and uh, look at that we got a Galarian we got a Galarian Raichu right here that probably is Piku or Puka that we had and uh, let's see we already got the evolutions and look at this we got ourselves Zamazetta let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here so as you can see guys we caught him in Pokemon Shield and uh, you know we could be using him in this one right here and, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got the legendary Pokemon. So we're going to get our Pokedex filled. And, uh, well, we got ourselves Nidoking, Yoquing. Yeah, we, we filled up on, on Pokemon, guys. So let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here. And stay away from the Pokemon that we're trying to attack us now. It was right here where the fog started to thicken up. And we encountered the legendary pokemon Simazetta and uh can't remember the other guy's name we'll eventually figure it out right here and uh well if we capture some like later, like going a little further into this area right here guys you're going to be encountering a lot more stronger pokemon so if you guys are 
wanting to capture some strong Pokemon or some, you know, some Galarian, uh, some Galarian uh, Weezings, there, this is the place to go. And, well, this is the place to go to actually find some stuff right here in the riverbank. And, well, there is an item right there. So let's go right here. Again, be careful, because there's going to be some Pokemon right here that's going to be getting at you. And here we found the Life Orb. It boosts the power of moves at the cost of some HP for each hit. Okay, so, yeah, that's a, you know, it's a pretty good... It is a pretty good item if you don't mind recoil damage. Instead, this time everything is going to be a recoil damage, so just uh, just be aware of that. Let's go right here, and well, let's go right up here, and we will be finding a Misty Seed, which it boosts the special defense of Misty Terrain. It can only be used once. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. And well, let's see. Oh. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to be getting attacked by a Pokemon. Here we have a Muna. Muna. Pretty interesting Pokemon right here. And it's a uh, Forewarn. And do I have a Pokemon like this? No. Y yes, I do. Yeah, but we need to escape because we, we don't need to. We, do not, we don't need to get attacked by this Pokemon right here. Again, your surroundings. And yes, Corviknight will be in here. Look at that. That is a scary, scary looking Pokemon. And, well, let's see. We're we'll moving around right here, just trying to stay away from the Pokemon. Let's see. Weezings. And look at this. This tree bark right here. Oh, wow. I think you can fish from here, right? Holy crud. You can. All right. What Pokemon comes from this area right here? Look at this. And, well, look at that. We have found ourselves a Barboke. 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 And can't even pronounce the name correctly. And yes, I've already caught one of these guys. I think I caught a Gigantamax one. Alright, let's move on right here. Here we're going to find an Elixir, which is always nice. Weezing, stay the heck away from me. And here is a TM. And we have found Phantom Force, a nice move that I already use. The vanish or the user vanishes uh, vanishes somewhere, then strikes the target the next turn. This move hits even if the target protects himself. Okay, I didn't even notice that. Okay, so let's just get the heck out of here and find our way around here. Oh wow, nearly I nearly stepped on that guy right there. And uh, let's go right here, grab this. We found ourselves a smoke ball, a item held by a Pokemon. It enables the holder to flee from any Pokemon battle without fail. That's pretty cool. And, oh, oh, wow. Wow, we, okay, so Stumpfist got this. Yeah, this guy, just like, just, it le legitimately scared me. Holy crud, okay, never mind. All right, just gonna be moving on right here. And, oh crap, okay, um, before we, before we uh, continue on with that clown, let's go right here and see what else we can actually find in this area. And look at that, we found ourselves a mental herb. Held by a Pokemon, the holder shakes off a uh, move binding effects that, okay, move binding effects that move freely. Okay, yeah, pretty good uh, item to actually have. But how to predict that, I do not know. Okay, well, it's time to go with the clown name Hop, okay, yeah. Many of you guys already know, I do not like Hop. He's annoying. He's been very, very annoying. And speaking of which, <clears throat> let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go... You know what? Let's go with Bex right here. Got to start with the starter. And let's see what we got. What's with the fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Hmm. Oh wow, it is becoming uh, scarier, okay. Oh my lord. Oh wow. Lord, okay. And both of these guys have a chopped ear. Grilled. Okay. They're really here. The sword and shield Pokemon, I knew it. Oh wow, okay. And well, the fog has... Uh, has thickened, and they're like, yeah, we gotta get away from this guy. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. 
You too. What in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those, those, those sword and shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you are... Are you sure you haven't lost the pot or the plot? There was no one here but the two, the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into uh, some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Z Zacian and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. The writing said that the two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering weald, somewhere sometime long, to long ago. Did they really? <laughs> Sonia, thanks. Thanks for digging into it. Even if it's just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find the Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and shield uh, and the shield uh, that those two carry, uh, use to carry are, are still here too. And well, I am only assuming it's... Yeah, he's probably right. So we're just going to be running straight forward right here. And well... Going deep into the fog, we're going to be looking at something pretty cool right here, guys. Wow. Okay, so... Would you take a look at that, Draven? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. Okay, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take a look at what we uh, what we got right here. So, stepping onto this platform, you're definitely going to be seeing something right here. A sword and a shield. Holy bejeebus. See that, Draven? The sword and shield! The legends were... The legends really were true. Okay, so... Let's see. Stepping into the platform... Oh, since we're playing Pokemon Sword, we're gonna pick up the sword right here. The rusted sword. If you're playing shield, you're gonna get the rusted shield. And, well, it is said that the hero used this sword to halt terrible disaster in ancient times. But it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it. I'm taking the shield. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems it might fall into pieces if you so much look, uh, uh, as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really uh, be able to stop the darkest day, but, well, I guess it can't hurt, it can't hurt to have them uh, along. Let's just hope they bring us some good luck. Okay, alrighty. Hmm. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really were still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. Okay, so... It would seem that, yeah, this is part of a big, big thing right here. So in the next, uh, in the next episode, we're going to be going into Hammerlock because there's some stuff going on right there. This whole adventure is going to get very interesting, guys. Trust me, it... Uh, yeah, you guys probably already seen the first walkthrough of this, but yeah, it's going to get super interesting. So, thank you guys again for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be going to Hammerlock. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, click the heart button right there. If you guys want to join, click the join. Um, there, there will be mentions right here onto my channel as soon as I start getting a nice list of 10. So, again, thank you guys for being patient. I will see you guys next time.